everybody, I'm Abby from Abby Kirsten Collections and today we're going to be making these super adorable Valentine's boxes that you can make with your kiddos. This year I'm doing a unicorn box for my daughter and I'm also making a dinosaur box for my son. Um, these are really fun and you can get creative with them and make them your own. Um, I have templates for the unicorn as well as for the dinosaur on the blog. So if you want to get the template for like the horn, the ears, the face, and the dinosaur tail and all of those pieces, I have those available for you on the blog. So make sure you visit the link below this video so you can download them for free for yourself. I just want to review the supplies you're going to need for this project. Um, there's a few different options that you can use. Um, but you can really make this your own, so don't be afraid to try different adhesives, different cardstocks, different mediums, things like that. So, um, you will need boxes first and foremost. You can buy these shoe boxes like this at um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, places like that, even online. They can have pre-cut holes in them, or you can cut them for yourself. Um, just use an old shoe box that you have lying around. I also, um, for the unicorn one, I used a 10 by 10 inch square box because I wanted a square shape for the face of the unicorn. So I chose to buy that one off of Amazon and I will link that resource if you like the perfect square option. For my dinosaur over here, I also used a smaller box for the head um, and I purchased that off of Amazon as well. It was just a perfect little small square box. I think it's like a four by four or something like that. In order to get your boxes decorated, you are going to need some masking tape to put the boxes together if you're opting for something like one of these square boxes here. And you will need some wrapping paper. If you don't feel like wrapping or you're not good at wrapping, you could always have your kids paint the boxes with some like acrylic paints. And um, that's always a great option too to get them even more involved. You can use a Cricut machine for this, but I also have printable PDFs, so if you want to get your kids going with some kids-friendly scissors and you want to have them cut out these pieces for their own boxes, that's super easy to do for them as well, so they can definitely be involved with the project. I'm using some 65-pound cardstock as well as some glitter cardstock for the unicorn here. I'll link my resources for those in the blog post. You're also going to want to have a pair of scissors on hand. You'll want an X-Acto knife and you'll want to have some glue sticks for the kids, a hot glue gun for any of the things that you might need to glue as an adult, and you may want to have a straight edge as well if you're using the X-Acto knife to cut the holes in the top of the box. That can just help you. Just make sure that an adult is assisting with the cutting and all of that. Um, lastly, you may also want to have some additional decorative pieces. I'm using some sticker rhinestones here that I added to the top of the unicorn horn um, to make it just a little bit more unique. Some extra sparkle is always important with those unicorns. So, like I said, all of these templates are free on the blog, so let's go ahead and get started with this craft. Okay, so like I said, you can absolutely hand cut these templates with scissors. I am using my Cricut machine for this. I selected some various colors of cardstock and some glitter cardstock for this unicorn box. Um, I let my daughter pick out the colors that she liked and she uh, helped me load the templates and everything. Um, but you can absolutely use a pair of scissors as well. And I have cut out some of the flowers here. I've cut out um, the eyes and the cheeks and I've also cut out a cone for the horn. Now for my box here, it is a square box like I mentioned, and I'm just using a straight edge here with a pencil and marking sort of a thin rectangle slot. And then I'm using my X-Acto knife here to cut that slot open. Once I've cut the slot, I flip the box over and I wrap it in wrapping paper. So I am using a white wrapping paper here because the unicorns look best in white. You could choose a different color of wrapping paper if you'd like, or you could even have your kids paint the box like I mentioned in the introduction. Um, that could be a really fun way to get them involved um, on their boxes as well, is to have them paint it. But I am using just a white wrapping paper. If you're wondering where I got any of these supplies from, I do have them all linked in the blog post that goes with this video tutorial. Once I get the box wrapped, I find that slot that I cut and I use my X-Acto knife to just um, cut the whole through the wrapping paper there so that I can um, fold it under and make it smooth, a smooth transition through the slot. I just use a little bit of tape to sort of stick underneath and inside the box there of the slot so that way it looks nice and tidy and clean. 
All right, so after you get your box wrapped here, you're gonna wanna start decorating it. So this is the part where you probably wanna bring your kiddos on board. They can help you cut some things out if you're cutting by hand and they have a um, kid-friendly pair of scissors, they could help with that. Or if you're using a cutting machine, you can have the pieces already pre-cut like I've done. And I've just given my daughter a glue stick here so she can glue each of these pieces on and then I kinda help her position them on the box. This is just a fun way for them to get involved with creating their own boxes. I start with the unicorn's um, eyes or her eyelashes just to sort of make that the central focus point before adding on all the other little details like the flowers and the cheeks and the horn and all that stuff. Next we add the cheeks on. In the templates there's some hearts and there's also um, some little circles so you can do either or. My daughter wanted to do the hearts for the cheeks so I went for those but if you'd rather have just little round circles I have those in the templates as well. Um, so we each picked one and positioned it right there on our box. Give our unicorn a cute little rosy cheek look. Next I add the ears and my daughter also helped me glue the ears together. There's sort of an inner ear piece and an outer ear piece that we cut out in um, white and pink cardstock and then she helped me using her glue stick to assemble them together. We decided to add the ears right at the top two corners of the box, but you can position them a little differently if you um, want to or if your child just wants to position them how they want. Um, this is just how we decided to do ours. The next part the, an adult probably will need to help with just because if you're doing the unicorn horn um, with the cone version, you may want to use hot glue so that it dries quickly um, so that the cone doesn't unroll on you if you were to use like a uh, glue stick, it probably wouldn't work very well. So I used some gold glitter cardstock here and then I used my hot glue gun um, to glue this together. Um, I just start at the tip and sort of roll it into the cone form. I cut this out on my Cricut. You can also cut it out with um, scissors and there is a unicorn horn also that is just like 2D rather than 3D like this one. That's a secondary option for you as well if you want your kids to be able to cut that out. But I did use hot glue for this part here. And then once I got the cone part rolled for the horn, I decided to add some rhinestones around the horn just to let it have a little bit more detail. You could also do like a ribbon or some other sort of embellishment if you wanted, um, but I used sticker rhinestones and just wrapped them around the cone starting at the tip. Again, for this part, an adult is probably going to want to do it if you're going with the 3D cone option. Um, I used hot glue right on top of the box and I sort of just um, dropped a bunch of hot glue right where the cone for the horn's going to go. And then once I get that sort of initially placed, I take my glue gun tip around the actual horn itself um, to make it a little more secure. And it's okay if you don't get the glue completely underneath because we're going to be covering this up with um, our, our curly bows as well as some flowers so you won't be able to see any little bit of glue that might run over there. My daughter started to get really excited at this point because she could see the unicorn coming together. The next step was to add our curly ribbon bows to the top of the box as sort of the unicorn mane. Um, there's lots of different ways you could do this and you could do this in like rainbow colors. We went with pink. That was my daughter's um, choice. Um, if you can't find curly bows like this, you can always make your own by just getting some like ribbon off of Amazon, which I will link for you, um, and then using your scissors to sort of curl them, which I also tried and that worked pretty well. I ended up just using some pre-made ones from my local party city, um, but you can find these in a lot of different stores um, and they're pretty inexpensive. The last step is just to use the flower templates included to cut out these designs in whatever color paper your child might like. We went with some glitter card stock here and I let my daughter use her glue stick to sort of arrange them on the top of the unicorn as sort of like a flower crown. There's also some little star and heart templates included, so if you want to tuck some like little stars and stuff amongst the flower crown, you can. You can also decorate the rest of the box as well, um, just to sort of show a different approach. I used some printable vinyl and I printed out some of these little flowers, which are included in the templates, um, on my Cricut machine with a print and cut process, and the Cricut cut cut them out and my daughter was able to um, place them kind of on the sides as extra decoration. Um, if you want to do that, you can find these in the SVG file 
files as well as the PDF printables. Um, if you're uploading them as an SVG, just make sure to flatten the image so that it becomes a print then cut if you're wanting to follow a similar method. So here's how our unicorn box turned out. It is really beautiful, super cute, and my daughter is so excited to use it for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you go over to the link that is below in this video description because I'm gonna show you part two, which is the dinosaur box in the next video.